Hey guys, Target Cycle and FPV, and I'm a customer that's having a problem with one of his flight controllers. So let me show you what we've got here. Uh, let me go ahead, I have to rearrange this real quick. There we go. So what we're talking about is the Namus RC. He's got the AIO 412T. I've just got the AIO 412, but we're gonna basically be the same, same thing going on here. So what he says is when he plugs it in, nothing happens, I think, if I'm understanding correctly. He's not getting anything uh, to come up. And I am going to uh, make sure, I'm gonna head over to the web real quick, just to make sure that when I open this up, uh, bear with me a second. Okay, so let's go all unresolved. And here we go. Uh, it should be, where is it? There it is. Okay, so, uh, I wanna, okay, several months I'm gonna use it. It gets stuck. Trying to flash the new firmware gets stuck in initiating the bootloader and fails. I'm not sure if it's defective or not. Okay, so let's first look at what we're dealing with. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Okay, and we've got our light blinking right here, as you can see. Now we're gonna switch over to the computer. So let me go ahead and switch over to Betaflight because we wanna make some references. We need to know a few things first, right? A few things, number one. Here we go. Uh, let's do this. So with the, with the flight controller plugged in, we're gonna connect. And I'm just gonna go ahead on down here to the CLI. All right, and I'm going to type in version. All right, I want to know what it has. So they're using the MakeTech F411, okay? So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and head over to our update firmware, and we're going to drop down on our menu box here to, um, to the, well, I'll tell you what, let's do this real quick. Let's run over to our, I thought I had it already open, I apologize. Let's head on over to our control panel, go to device manager. Okay. And then when that opens, let's just see what we're using. So first thing we know is that it's gonna use the STM electronics file, right? So you need to make sure that you see this in your device manager first. If you don't see that, you're gonna to need to go to your STM, you're gonna to need to go right here and download these drivers, okay? The next thing is we need to, this is gonna go into DFU mode when it tries to update, right? So here's what happens. He says it hangs when he tries to update, it hangs ha halfway through. Let's go back, hold on, let me go back here real quickly. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, let me do this one more time, make sure I've got the right thing here. So let me go to versions. Version, uh, Matech 411, okay. I'm gonna update firmware. Drop this down to Matech uh, F411 right here. And we're gonna get the newest version right here. And we're gonna leave a no reboot, full chip erase, manual baud rate, and leave these, make your screen just like mine, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and click load firmware, and I'm gonna see if mine gets stuck as well. Flash, okay? Okay, so here's where his is getting stuck, right? And it says it's uh, initializing the bootloader, it's failing. And he's right, I'm not getting anything on mine either. So if you can see, if you wanna see the screen here, uh, this is what I've got, and we've got nothing, right? The light's gone, now everything's gone. If we unplug it, and we plug it back in, it's probably gonna come back, right? So let's just see, I don't think it's gonna be stuck. I gotta line this up properly, there we go. Okay, it should come back, and we should see, as you can see up here, sorry, uh, we have our COM port back, COM88, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. And I have the screen definitely incorrect here. So let's do it like this. Um, let me put beta flight in small and let's leave it like this so you can see. We're gonna unplug the board, okay? And we're gonna find our bind button. And I don't have my glasses or not the big ones, but I should be able to find something here for binding. I'm looking, I'm looking, and maybe I need my big glasses because it's really hard for me to see. Where is, everybody? okay, I'm gonna get my big glasses. I can't see anything. And I cannot read the task text in case it's a bind button that requires, uh, or it's two pads. Let me see. It's your battery terminal. No, oh, it's right here. It's this little button. I got a little gold button right there. Okay. So here's what we're going to do next. This time, we're going to go ahead and just press that. So I'm gonna press that with my finger, hopefully be able to plug this in at the same time. Okay, I've got the button plugged in, and now I'm going to plug in my USB port, just like that. Now what I'm hoping is that, and it didn't work because my finger slid off the stupid thing. Hold on, let's try this again. Hoping that I'll get DFU mode. I'm not able to hold this button down, this is ridiculous. Tell you what, I'm gonna hold it down and I'm just gonna plug in my USB cable instead, leave it plugged into my controller. I'm going to use one of these little dual flotches here to press this down. Oh, it's not going to work either. Never mind. Uh, let's try it like this. I'll try it with the other hand. Okay, I know I've got it pressed down right now. And now I'm going to plug it back in. It's like you have to really... 
There you go. You see how it says DFU now on my screen? Boom. That's what we need. Whoops. Let me move this over here so you guys can see that. Okay. See that right there? So now we can let go of the button. Now we're going to go ahead and say flash firmware. And now it's going to update. So the difference is, is that what we, what we can see here is that the board's not going into DFU mode automatically when we tell it to update. So we can hold the button down and do it. Now I'm going to try one other way to do it too. But give me a second because my wife just texted me. I need to know if she's picking up the boys. So maybe there's something going on. What's wrong? All right, sorry. All right, let me get ready here. So we see it's flashing right now. Should be done here in just a second. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's done, and now you can see we're going to log back in, right? So watch this. We're going to click Connect, okay, and then Apply Custom Defaults, boom. So we're going to be in, all right, and Connect, and that's fine, the warning and all that. Now, the one thing that I do want to try is I want to see if I come over here. This used to work. If I type, no, uh, let me see. Uh, wait, I'm not getting anything to come up. Oh wait, did I already do it? I think I might have already done it. Let's click update firmware. No, yeah, I need to unplug this and plug it back in. So let me try this again. I was just trying to see if I could do it from the uh, CLI. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's go to CLI, let me see. Um, it used to be BL, and I know that changed. There was something else too. So let's just, is it DFU? No, nope. uh, no, there was something else. I'm trying to see if it's on here. I can't remember. Da -da -da -da. I see BL, and that did basically the same thing it did earlier. So that's, that's, that doesn't do it. Um, ah, I thought there used to be. I, I think there was something else. I just can't remember now. Uh, but I don't see anything here that's striking me. I just see the BL option right here, and that's not happening. So. If I go to BL, we end up in the same uh, situation here. Um, and I don't think DFU didn't work. I don't know what else there was. I don't think there was anything else. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me go disconnect. And isn't there, if I go to update from, oh, it's exit DFU mode. Okay. So the, D, the BL doesn't work. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to take your um, flight controller uh, and you're going to, and let me just make the screen bigger here. Okay, let's put this over here and do that. Okay, so let me move my keyboard out of the way. So because you're having this problem, you're just basically going to find, turn the board over or wherever you're at on this board, find that little gold boot button, hold that down, um, plug this in, and you're going to see that you're going to end up uh, in DFU mode, right beside my face, right the other way, right there. See, I don't know which direction to point, but it's right there. It says DFU. That's all you got to do. Then do your firmware upgrade using the Maytech F411. All right, guys, look, uh, I know it's a very quick video. I was just trying to help a customer out. I hope that helps. Reach out to me if it works or doesn't work. Just reply back. Otherwise, guys, God bless. Be safe. Most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. And check out our new tutorial. Uh, we're opening up a whole new website just for tutorials, 500 plus videos. And we're going to keep going with this because we're setting up our entire online curriculum. Learn.uvtca.com. UVTCA is Unmanned Vehicle Training Centers of America. That is our new eight and a half acre facility that opens. Soft opening on Labor Day. And uh, we're going to do all our training from there and we're going to do a bunch of school curriculums and everything else and we're going to send a bunch of people there to do subscription services and whatever else you may need blah, 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 blah. my kids are about to be here that's why i'm kind of going pretty fast but anyways god bless guys enjoy yourselves please subscribe to our channel which is right there come on pop up there you go boom otherwise have a great thursday i'll see you later i'm going to be doing some live builds tonight and tomorrow i'm going to have my kids this weekend but i'm going to do as much as i can talk to y'all soon bye